Hello and welcome to another episode of Sailing Yaba. We should actually be called Fixing Yaba because that's what, what we have been doing for the last three and something years. Fixing this boat that was wrecked and sinking and now it's almost, almost, almost ready to become our floating home. Yes! Here we have Gedis and Fernando. Obrigado por ter vindo. <laughs> they came all the way from Florianopolis. They are sailors of regata. They do lots of regattas and they work a lot on Mastreya Sama, which is standing rigging. It's a big challenge for them because nothing is on document and everything is just step by step until it's right. So, obrigado. Boa sorte. Good luck. <laughs> Just to be sure we're not doing any guesswork, they are busy bringing up a rope and that little rope they're going to use to measure the length of each of the four shrouds of this before they start cutting, just to make sure they're all four as long as each other and also that the mast is standing nice and straight and plump. When we got the boat, one of these had a lot of unnecessary coupling pieces and uh, as we are shortening or shortening the stainless steel wires now, we realized that the one that was too short with all the coupling pieces is now perfect for the other side and one of the other side will fit perfectly here. So Gerges has just gone up and he's just going to switch them both around and hopefully we won't have to cut any of these forward port shrouds, so we'll see if this works. Ideally now they should be the perfect length without having to cut anything to just be fastened onto these front chain plates. I'm very happy about how this went. We've already got three stays, three shrouds, unfortunately all on one side. These two forwards, foremast stays, shrouds are in place and all the others, can I show you, have been cut to the right length. However, it was a bit of a pain for them to work here. So they went back to their workshop to go and finish off all the jobs they needed to on the, uh, the connectors, remove the old wire and make sure it's all nice and clean and uh, ready to install then they will be back to finish that. However, they did give us some homework. Uh, what I'm gonna work on now to help them is we found miraculously these in the boat. They were stored, Nico found them. They are gonna go uh, on the cat head to hold the bowsprit stays, the whisker stays on. So we can install that now. Also, we've got these uh, two chain plates which go on the platform over here to hold the back stay up so that is going to help them a lot when they come back so I'm going to install them right now with Nico
I think we're pretty ready to install everything. It's been very hot, but it's quite nice because we can actually work a lot. Uh, we've got three through bars which are going to go along the bottom, fastening to the bottom of the platform. And then we've got one lug screw which is going to be here. Uh, it's a special lug screw, that's what they call it here. It's a special thread. It looks like this. You see? It's like a, a lot thicker thread than a usual one. So we're going to do that. Uh, we're just, Nico's just taping it up so that we can Seeker flex it all in place and then we will be painting around it. What I'm working on today is finishing installing the electric part of the underwater lights. Ben with Ryan and Lolo did put all the lights in place and now it is my turn with my dad to connect them. We did connect four of the small ones on the last episode, which was super, super cool to see. But I really want to get the feeling of having that test completely done. So I'm working on installing the other ones that are missing. I love it when brands think their things through. Like Lumitech does this amazing quality light, but they also send with these little rubber so you can seal the inside. They send with the right screws. You know, it's just, I love when the details are also considered in the presentation of the product. And this is so satisfying. Well, I was connecting the button, my dad connected the negative, and if we all did the right thing, now the light should go on. So, let's see, time of truth. Let's give power to the panel. Underwater lights, power. Now, chun 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 chun. Yes! How cool are these lights? And these ones, the quattros that we have in the stern and in the bow, they are white and blue. And just by turning it very quickly off and on, it changes color, which is super, super easy to do. We didn't need to do any special connections. And I myself prefer white, so I think it's nice to have the blue one as well. Cannot wait to see this underwater, seriously. But we still have another four small ones and only two big ones to connect. So let's celebrate just a tiny bit more and keep going. Out of 12, 
ready, installed, completely done. So Gare just left back to Florianopolis to go and take all the parts that he removed from the standing rigging to do at home, nice and calm with the correct tools. And uh, he just came back and he's here with Jefferson with all the parts. Let me see if we can find any. He's removed all the stainless steel wiring from inside the screws. Everything here is nicely removed. And now what they're gonna do is bit by bit, let me find one over here. So previously they cut them all. Now they're gonna stick all these into them, fasten a tensioner onto them, and then put them all in place. Standing rigging is almost a check. So Luis's back, he's working on these rings that we found. They came, well, Nico actually found them in a stainless steel toolbox, which is where they live, of course. And uh, he did carnival in Rio, carnival in Salvador, and then he was traveling to Linsois. Chapada Diamantina. Chapada Diamantina. What was the best bit? Uh, Ilha Grande, a real paradise in Brazil. Okay, and Ilha Grande is an island, of course, Ilha. So we are definitely going there with Yaba. He's coming with us. Safety first. If any of you were wondering what the progress was on uh, uh, launch, it's going very fast. So you can see most of the underwater line is finished on our part. We just need the anodes around the, uh, the metal areas. We need prop speed. We need prop speed around the lights. And uh, that's about it, except for the anti-fouling, which is going to happen on that crib to be exact. So the plan is, you can see here where the original side kill was or what it is. And that is that purple heart one over here. That was removed. Zeka then made this piece, which is actually a way bigger piece you can see. So that has been added onto it as well as this piece over here, it's been lengthened. You can also see that the side kill used to be on this plank over here, which has been replaced and it has been pulled outwards and now this one is done of course it needs to be plugged shut but that is completely done so when that's done on the other side i think zeka is working on it right now this boat will be ready to launch let's have a look so you can see this is the new piece it's already been placed then the purple heart piece is going to be fastened on top as well as that little extension bit when the, both of these have been finished this boat will be ready to go into the water and he will finish the rest in the water like we will as the shrimp boat fishing boats are not allowed to go fishing anyway. So when that boat goes into the water, that crib is going to be lifted and placed under our boat, which is going to be very cool to watch. Then straight after that boat, it's going to go all the way down and leave while that orange, white and blue boat is going to come onto the crib and get lifted to the top. When that boat's lifted to the top, it's gonna be launch day. I'm very happy that we've got everything under the waterline ready. The only things that need to be done still are anodes, anti-fouling, 
and prop speed on the light as well as propeller. So we're gonna just do that on the crib just before launch. Very, very happy with that. During all of this, now and then I can hear some huffing and puffing. And that is this little lady down here. Hello. I live here now. What's happening? I'm pulling the wires through for the bow underwater lights. Jeez, son. Yeah. Hey. One more shroud, which is the main mast shroud to be done. Uh, remember on the first day, this one was already placed. Only one more to do. That one's been cut. He went home, had it all uh, loosened, the part that was cut off. Last chain plate over here, and then we can move over to the back stay and then to the uh, bow sprit. Before we go over to the back stay, we threw all these wires down again. We know that the one with the hosing on is the most forwards bob stay. We've got three more with two will be the side whisker stays and one will be the one we need right now. What is it? She wants me to see something. What is it? I think we're ready to test those. Yeah, we're ready to test those. Okay. Ready? I'll go here where it's a bit darker. Any moment now. Yay! They are so bright. Is the other one on? Yeah. Nice. So these are going to guide us onto the horizon. Well, technically not. Off the horizon, onto an anchorage. Oh, good! And they're blue. So these are bicolor. So we've got blue and blue or white. I can't see this. Hey, blue. And I think this is a very good time to shout out Spirit Animal. I actually happen to be wearing their top today. It's funny because I'd never put uh, underwater lights on my boat, but we stayed with them, I think, last year after the Annapolis boat show. And they had underwater lights, and we thought, oh, well, that would look quite cool on, uh, on Yaba. Gave us the link at where they got them at uh, Lumitech. So thank you, Lumitech, as well, for helping us out with these lights. But uh, MP is super happy, and I'm so proud of her for taking all these electrics into her own hands and getting all these lights sorted. Super happy. Thank you, Spirit Animal, for the idea. And thank you so much, Lumitech, for helping us out with these. Whoa, they're all on right now. Can't wait to show you guys at night. I want to see the difference between the small ones and the big ones at night. The back one also. Nice. Look at that. Where is it? Okay. Now we really have to launch to try these out. And we have to launch and we won't see them very well there. We'll have to launch and go to a very nice Ilia Grande. And <laughs> have a nice party. Congratulations! Send me inside. And this one? Yeah. Nice. And this one. Launch. Splash. No, not yet. Here, show me the buttons. So is it bow, mid, up? Yeah. So if I do on, off, on, it changes color. Yeah. Sweet. So it's on, then you do quickly off on, then and it changes to like white, and then off on, and then it's just blue. So uh, so only these two, bow and aft. Yeah. Awesome. And thank you so much, Lumitech. Yeah, but it's even prettier now. With her jewels. With her jewels.
Só faltou de chegar. Faltou de chegar. Right now, on this moment, we have way more stays and shrouds holding up our masts and in places where they need instead of having ropes in places where they shouldn't be, thanks to Gedges and Jefferson. Holy God. And uh, right now, I think we're gonna wrap this up because they've given us a little bit of homework. So we're gonna launch the boat, we're gonna see if everything's right, and we're gonna head down to Florida Place anyway, and that's where they're from. They can finish this up, do the final water tests and tightening and stuff and then we'll have a beer to celebrate with them before we head off thank you so much mike and charles for joining us on patreon we hope you enjoy it there welcome to the crew and brenda brian roman and bob thank you so much for the paypal donation and james marco and Penia, jens jeffrey duane thank you so much for the super thanks see you guys all next week